ABC 22 News at 11. Thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Lauren Maloney. Woodstock's police chief on administrative leave from his job with pay. Vermont State Police are looking into whether he was involved in an unspecified incident from this past Sunday. Now details are scarce, but ABC 22's Mike Hoey has been following this for us and he joins us live from the newsroom with what we do know. Well, Lauren, one of the few things we know for certain is that Woodstock Municipal Manager Eric Duffy reached out to VSP on Monday asking them to investigate. Duffy then placed Chief Joseph Swanson on leave Tuesday morning. Now, neither town officials nor state police are commenting to us on the nature of the report from Sunday. According to freelance journalist Mike Donahue at Vermont News First, it began with a motor vehicle incident of some kind involving the chief's husband. But again, we ourselves have not been able to confirm that. A public records available online show that Chief Swanson was once the chair of the Woodstock Select Board. He resigned in July of last year upon being promoted to chief. He's also the son of the late Philip Swanson, the longtime former municipal manager that Woodstock's emergency services building is named after. VSP has assigned a detective from outside of the area to look into all of this. Duffy has pledged the full cooperation of local leaders, also adding in part, quote, the town and village of Woodstock is committed to ensuring that complaints regarding our police officers are addressed in an appropriate fashion. And for VSP's part, Public Information Officer Adam Silverman notes, quote, it is important to note that, generally speaking, just because an investigation involves a specific individual, that does not necessarily mean the individual is a target of the investigation. Well, a home phone number for Chief Swanson listed online was disconnected this evening when I dialed it, and Sergeant Christopher O'Keefe, serving as acting chief, had gone home for the day when I tried to reach him. The Woodstock PD tried but failed to send me to his voicemail, and I was told to call again on Friday. Live in the newsroom tonight, Mike Hoey, ABC 22 News. Mike, two people are in trouble in Vermont's capital city 